quick disclaimer. You know, at this point, failure is really good to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you don't fail, you don't know how to win, right? So, anybody can have their complaints about the edits. You can have your complaints about whatever. Um, but we in the middle of a pandemic and I decided to throw a documentary together and I have an editor that just started editing. <laughs> and I just want to say, you are doing a damn good job, Destiny. Don't stop doing what you're doing. I don't give a fuck who like it and who don't, okay? You are doing a damn good job and I promise you, baby girl, one day, Tyler Perry might pick your ass up by watching this damn documentary. You never know. You never know who's watching. You know? He might say, man, you, you, was, you was doing all right then. How you doing now? Several years down the line, your editing is impeccable. Don't ever quit. Don't worry about what nobody got to say about these edits. I appreciate you for everything that you do. What's up, y'all? So, today is day five of um the fall of royalties world first it was the worst and that's when i lost my mind I blew $40,000 and then I lost my damn mind, all right? Here's where ground zero came to, literally. So, let's just go here. I moved to Atlanta, didn't know really anybody aside from uh, the people I moved in the house with. Uh, we didn't work out, so I left there and I moved into uh, somewhere else with some people that I had just met at the time and turns out that was a the best move for me um, shout out to y'all you know <laughs> it's some good people in this world still and sometimes it ain't the person right beside you it might be a stranger you never met in your damn life they have been so good to me since I've been there and uh, I appreciate them so much y'all know who y'all are thank you okay um depression I've been wanting to make a video about depression for a very very long time and I never made the video because I thought people wouldn't be interested I was so focused on the people that don't care about good quality they just want to see bullshit to make you laugh make me laugh real quick because I, I, I'm assuming you want me to bring you out of what you're in but I'm in something I can't even laugh right now. You know what I'm saying? So, depression. I used to, and, and sometimes I still feel it, but you, you know, you feel alone in a room full of people. You just feel alone. And you have to ask yourself, why do I feel alone when I'm around a whole bunch of people? Or I got a whole bunch of friends. Or I have a girlfriend. I have a boyfriend. Whatever. And you feel alone. Well. I was starting to go to clubs. Drinking a lot of liquor. You know. Partying. Um, at this time. You know. A lot of girls paying me some attention. I'm single now. Shit. So. You know. I'm talking to girls. And. <laughs> I get that line. And these girls like. Yo. I want to go out to eat. I want Juicy Crab. Juicy Crab was the main thing. I want Juicy Crab. I want Juicy Crab. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, no. I'm not getting you Juicy Crab. <laughs> not because I don't want to get you Juicy Crab. But I can't afford Juicy Crab. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Bye. Now that's how you get off the phone. <laughs> a girl will say like, let's go to Juicy Crab. I'm like, oh shit. I, I don't want to tell her I don't have no money. I'm talking about I was embarrassed. And for some reason I just couldn't keep it real. I just couldn't be like, hey, sure, I'm broke. I can't do it. 
I couldn't even just be like, hey, yo, shorty, I, um, not today. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a budget this month. Juicy Crab ain't in the budget, you know? Um, this one girl was like, hey, let's go to Juicy Crab. Actually, Puka. Puka said, need come to Juicy Crab with me. Man, I made the weirdest, it was just the weirdest <laughs> conversation out of that. You know, in other words, I told her, I'm broke, I can't do it. She was like, okay, next time, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. And um, it seemed like right after that, that's when I just lost it. And when I say lost it, I mean I went into a dark. And I was already in a dark place, right? But see, it gets deeper. Sometimes the bottom ain't bottom enough. Sometimes you can go deeper. And I know that's crazy. But you can. So I'm in a dark space already. Not being real with myself. Not acknowledging what's going on. Still, you know, bullshit. Trying to live out something that ain't that ain't a reality anymore. I just got into this dark ass phase. Like, didn't want to wake up. Um, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't wake up early in the morning. Like, and that had been going on for a minute, but I had got out of it for a second. Got right back into it. You know. When I would wake up it wouldn't be it just it, it wasn't it didn't feel good waking up you know what I'm saying it, it didn't feel good waking up man you know you wake up and you your your heart is heavy your heart is heavy and my heart was so heavy you know it's almost like it was something on there that I just couldn't get off of it it's like it had a hole on that motherfucker, like for real. Um, I was working out at the time, you know, eating right, trying to get myself together. But then I only do a little bit. It just wasn't enough. So, man, one day, you know, I said, I'm going, I'm going to go to Kentucky. She's going to school. I'm going to see her sometimes, you know, but. While I'm there, I'm going to get myself together because I'll be alone. Can It can really get deep inside yourself and see how much you are worth. During the day, she go to school, handle her business. I'm out. I'm at the gym, in the car, in her room. I'm alone. And I needed time to be alone. Thank you, Jalen, for allowing me to do that. So, I'm there and I am just lost. Me and her, you know, never said this, but me and her was having our ups and downs, obviously. Everybody wanted to say it was toxic. Uh, it wasn't toxic, you know. Honestly, she was trying to help me through my shit. But once again, another woman come along, not, not letting her. Not letting her either, you know. So, I'm putting bad vibes on her and some more shit, man. So, I'm, I'm in this dark-ass space. And... Every time something happened, I start crying, bawling, bawling, crying, man. Like, and I don't care what it was. Anything hurt my feelings. I couldn't hold nothing. My, my heart felt heavy. My chest felt heavy, heavy. And I got a call from my brother one day. And uh, he was like, yo, hey, what's up with you? Like, you know, like, what you got going on? You collab with anybody? You making any money? I'm like, no. Nah, bro I said i'm broke as hell i ain't making no money i ain't doing nothing i ain't on nothing i'm in kentucky you know what i'm saying thank god this girl let me get my mind together and plus it's, it feel good to be around her don't get me wrong you know it felt real good to be around her too because you know we had what well, you know what well, we had going on but something wrong man something missing i don't feel complete honestly i feel like i want to kill my damn self right now that's how i was feeling and um uh, he was like, kill yourself. Like, hold up. <laughs> I, I don't have a sympath symp what you call it? A sympathetic family. They ain't into sympathizing. They're like, man, you better get your bitch ass. <laughs> you better get your bitch ass up and get to it, you know? But you gotta respect those type of people. I mean, hell, even with Jalen, Jalen said, <laughs> she said, You wanna kill yourself? Honestly, I want to right now too. So fuck it, we can do it together. Okay. Do that sound when I do this watch. A okay. <laughs> I got you. 
type shit. You know, you never know what people going through when you put that suicide shit on them. So, um, I was really feeling it though, you know, and it, I just, I was counting my days. I was counting my days. It was like, yo, one of these days I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? One of these days, man. That's how I was feeling. Drinking a whole bottle every day, you know. I, one day, I'm telling you. <laughs> I was a few days away, boy. I'm trying. My brother said, you know, I explained to him how I was feeling this shit. He was like, yo, you got too much pride going on, man. And I was like, what you mean? He said, you, you're not living in reality. He said, uh, you know, you want to you wanna be back to where you was and that ain't where you at. He said, you're not owning up to where you at. You're not owning up to where you are. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, well, what the fuck do you mean, man? Like, I know I'm broke. I know I'm this. I know I'm that. You know, I know it. He like, mm, clearly you don't. <laughs> but not only that, you, you, you fine. You know it, but you're not getting out of it. And I'm not getting, you're not getting out of it because you're afraid. So here's the part that was harboring on me. You're afraid to make videos because you're afraid of what people think of you since you got extorted on the internet. Okay? You're afraid to do videos with other people, especially bigger YouTubers that you've done with before. Reach out, ask them for a helping hand because you got too much pride. You got too much too much ego. You ain't where you used to be. You need help, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nobody to help me, but I, I, I'd rather struggle than be helped. Make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, one day I was like, yo, he right. It, it's like after he said that, I still had a, a, another episode. What happened was I had woke up one day and this is the video I made when I said I was about to commit suicide, which is true. Nigga, we ball, grinding day and night, praying you never fall. Bitches love to talk shit, jealousy, getting involved, drinking liquor, fucking bitches, disguising what's going on. Did some self-hate shit, nigga be feeling alone, looking for someone to call, no one picking up the phone, trying to stay in your zone with all the shit going on. Devil right in your back, telling you to end it all, so you picking up a gun, put that shit to your brain, thinking you are in love, but mentally is insane, fuck the glory and the fame. Get that shit through your brain, if you walked in my shoes, nigga wouldn't last a day. Got that pressure on your brain, slowly fading away, pulling that shit together, what your strong friends say, but they don't know your pain. And at the end of the day you pulling the fucking trigger then the pain goes away um i woke up one day and you know Jalen had came to the house and she seen me in the car and she like yo what's wrong with you i'm like i don't know i said but I i'm about to end this shit i ain't got time <laughs> like for real it's not funny it's a true feeling and i know somebody out there has felt this you get what i'm saying who would make your heart heavy just talking about it because it's so surreal you feel like you have done everything that you could do and you just give up on yourself you feel like you have come to the end of your rope you feel defeated Jalen always always said to me every time I get to talk in defeat she like you sound defeated again like I you know you just went to a good place how do you feel defeated again you know, and I didn't understand that either. But at that day, I felt defeated. Woo! That day, I felt like it was a wrap. You know, I've done all I could do. I've heard all the people I, I, I could possibly hurt at this point. I don't belong here, bro. And, um... She took me to the bridge. It's like a big four bridge or something. And um, man, she talked me off a ledge. And people don't understand why I respect her so much. Because she talked me off that ledge, man. I don't know if I would have been here today. Shout out to my brother. I don't know if I would have been here today. It was bad, man. But to be honest, I have been feeling this way for years. Years. You know, when I was around... people that let's just go with several years ago um I had episodes with them you know I just felt so lost I wanted to please everybody else 
I didn't know how to love me. I had no idea. And it's a terrible feeling to not know how to love yourself. It's a terrible feeling to be able to love whoever else and not you. I'm going to tell you right now. If you're in that position right now, you have to, have to, have to face your realities. You have to face your truths about you. If you fat, if you feel like you fat, you are. And I'm not being funny. We have to be real with ourselves unapolo unapologetically. If you fat, bro, you fat. Bro, you want to you wanna lose weight, do it. If you want to wake up earlier, do it. If you want to fucking <clears throat> eat better, do it. A lot of people always ask me like, where do you find the motivation? In not having any, bro. Do you not look at other people like, yo, not that I want your life, but damn. How are you so calculated? I think I, I low-key resented my ex on being so calculated. You know, she could she had poise in uh certain situations where she could sit back and think about it first. Jalen too, she could sit back and think about it first. That's why you can't even prank her. She's so smart. And I was just such a hothead, so emotional, so goddamn. A mess. Everybody don't have the same story. But sometimes the people around you can motivate you. That's that's your motivation. You just have to accept what's around you. But not only that, you have to love you first. If you don't know how to love you, you will not be able to love anybody else. This is why I'm still single. I can't be with nobody, bro. I can't. Ain't no way in the fuck. Parts of me are still controlling. I'm just being honest. You know? I want a woman that practices health and wellness. I want a woman that works out. I want a woman that is into her body. I want a woman that... Um, Likes to take care of herself, keep herself up, keep her hair done, keep her, her nails done, keep her, just stay sexy and smart. I want a woman that read books. I want a woman that can teach me some shit. I want a woman that, that's not into all the party life and the bullshit. I want a hustler, a go-getter. When I'm down, she can pick my ass up and I'll be able to do the same for her. I don't want to hide what I want to say. I want to be able to just tell her what's wrong. I want balance if I get a woman. You know what I'm saying? But until then, I'm embedding it in myself. Self-love is the best love. That's the sexiest thing a person can hold. You know? See, videos like this, I've been wanting to do videos like this, but see, I was afraid. Like, I ain't gonna get no views. Fuck views. The people that watch this video is the people that needed it more than the people that don't. Who gives a fuck about the people that don't? You know what I'm saying? I'm just in such a different place. And I just feel myself coming together so much better. I wanted to cry for a second because I was feeling, feeling back in that, not back in the dark place, but feeling that darkness. From, from what I was telling y'all like what I went through horrible feeling but I know somebody needed to hear that you know and I hope that whatever I said could bring you some type of peace you know I really really do you know this, this episode right here is pretty much ending all of the shit that I was going through. You know. Because after your downfall. You have a breakthrough. <sighs> Emotional intelligence. Is taking control. 
of your emotions. Being knowledgeable of the fact that A, you're tripping. You tripping. You tripping. Get your shit. You gotta go out and, and, and sit in a car. You gotta go out and go somewhere. You know, take a drive. Take a walk. Just get the hell away and just be alone sometimes. Do that. Get your thoughts together. Get everything together and you'll be okay. I'm in a better place. I no longer want to hurt myself. I have recognized the flaws that I have and I'm fixing them. Nothing's perfect. Sometimes I still feel blue. Sometimes I still feel alone in my mind. Sometimes sometimes I just want to hug. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just want to have a, a romantic moment with a woman. You know, because clearly I don't like men. But have a romantic moment with a woman. You know. On a different level. You... I'm not perfect. But at least I told my truth. At least I told my truth. To the people I was around, you know. Damn sure ain't no hard feelings with me. Um shit, I apologize. I I, I didn't know how to tell you. I was unhappy as fuck with myself. I had no idea. But it's alright. Life goes on. You know, I've met a lot of new inspirational people and I am going on the right path. And um, I wouldn't have it any other way. But thank y'all so much for tuning in. I know this video was long. And um, I love y'all. Be blessed. The next video I'm going to show y'all. How I went from 240 to 210. You did. I actually weighed myself today. I was 208. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all about a challenge I just started.